As we look at early pig care for just weaned pigs, the four principal areas are comfort zone, desired room temperature, early feed and water intake, and the placement plan. Literally everything changes for them when piglets are weaned. In order to get them off to a good start, they need to be received into a barn that is clean, warm, and dry. If any of those three conditions are not met, they will have a harder time adapting and their welfare will be at risk. The comfort zone is an area that provides a customized temperature profile that is large enough for the number of pigs in the pen. The most common tools used are brooders, heat lamps, and mats. Brooders can achieve 90 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit in the center of their heat pattern and allow the room temperature to be 6 to 7 degrees cooler than without using them. Heat lamps cover a much smaller area than brooders and can only achieve 82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Rubber or plastic mats should be large enough to provide an area of 0.4 square feet per pig and can allow the room temperature to be lowered by 2 to 3 degrees Fahrenheit. Using more than one tool has an additive effect, meaning that if brooders and mats are used together, the room temperature can be lowered by up to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. When the comfort zone tools are removed, the room temperature should be adjusted upwards. Two comfort zone examples. Both have brooders, while one uses a mat and the other is over an area of solid floor. The desired room temperature is dependent on the type of building, floor type, and the weight of the pigs. Since a wet floor can make the effective temperature feel approximately 14 degrees cooler, it is extremely important that the barn be dry and warm when pigs arrive. Smaller piglets need a warmer temperature than heavier ones. As the pigs grow, the desired room temperature can lower by approximately 2 degrees Fahrenheit during the first week. By providing a comfort zone using a brooder and mat, the desired room temperature is approximately 10 degrees Fahrenheit lower than without a comfort zone. Which comfort zone is better, A or B? B is better than A. The pigs are not as piled up and there is more unoccupied mat visible. Which ones apply? Too hot, small pigs need higher temperatures, brooder position is correct, mat space is enough, brooder capacity is inadequate, sick pigs should be relocated. It is too hot under the brooder. Small pigs need higher temperatures. There is enough mat space or solid floor space. Sick pigs should be relocated. It should be noted that the brooder position isn't correct. Not enough of the heat is reaching into the other pen. Wean piglets need to learn where the water is and how to use the drinker. Since water intake is essential for health and for feed consumption, it is important to make the water easy to find and readily accessible. One useful practice is to have one or more drinkers slowly dripping so the piglets can more easily find the water. PIC recommends one drinker for every 10 to 12 pigs. Water pressure should be 15 to 20 pounds per square inch with a flow of one half to one liter per minute. Drinkers need to be positioned based on the size of the pigs and the drinker type. 90 degree nipple drinkers should be at shoulder level. Nipples that are angled downward 60 degrees should be 2 to 3 inches above the shoulder level and bowl drinkers should be 40% of the pig height. Bowl drinkers need to be rinsed after disinfecting so the pig's first drink isn't contaminated with disinfectant. The first rule of stimulating early feed intake is to ensure fresh water and feed availability. Initiating activity in the pen can increase water and feed intake. 
An important part of the process is to use the time and the pen to identify pigs that are not doing well or may be sick. Mat feed training is an excellent tool to use to stimulate early feed intake and gruel feeding can be an important support for challenged pigs. Making a lot of noise or other actions that scare the pigs causes unneeded stress and isn't helpful. The stimulation process should be done by calmly entering and walking around the pen. Take a moment to look at each pig. Check the feed level in the feeder pan and water flow at each drinker. If a mat is present, scatter the correct amount of feed on it so that when the pigs return to lay down, they find the feed which will help them learn what to eat. Mat feed training, as mentioned in the previous slide, is an important tool to support early feed intake. The goal is to offer the piglets a snack. Once they know what to eat, they will find it in the feeder. It is most effective when done four to six times per day and is generally done for three to seven days, depending on the circumstances. The mat should be clean and dry before putting feed on it. Only a small amount of feed should be placed on the mat each time. PIC recommends one pound of feed per day for 40 pigs, or about half an ounce per pig per day spread out between the number of times feed is offered on the mat. For example, a pen of 40 piglets that will be mat trained four times per day would have a quarter pound of feed scattered on the mat. To reduce waste, it is best that the feed is consumed before piglets begin to lay down on the mat, which is generally within 15 to 20 minutes. Now time for some participation. What changes would you make to this mat feed training? The amount of feed on the mats could be reduced, but it is better to have some extra rather than not enough. Which one is better? The correct answer is neither. Both groups appear to have enough mat space. B shows a possible excess of feed on the mat, but both can be considered acceptable. Gruel feeding is an additional tool to support challenge piglets. It helps stimulate consumption and hydration, but requires additional time and equipment. It is generally used in hospital pens, rescue pens for poor competitors, and for pens with the smaller pigs that were sorted out for extra care. The recommended recipe for 15 pigs is 8 ounces of feed and 24 ounces of water, or one part feed to three parts water. It should be consumed in an hour or less to prevent spoiling, and is generally provided two to three times per day during the first two to three days after weaning. Gruel is a supplement and does not replace mat feed training and eating from the regular feeder. Since just weaned pigs are accustomed to eating together, with gruel feeding one of the objectives is for all the pigs in the pen to eat at the same time as well. To do this, when using a trough type feeder there needs to be at least three inches of linear feeder space per piglet or one space per piglet when using the red pan feeders. Gruel should be mixed fresh in a clean container for each feeding. The feed should have time to absorb the water and for pellets to dissolve. The target consumption time is 15 to 20 minutes and no more than an hour. Which one of these situations is better, A or B? A is better because there is more room for each pig. The placement plan is generally defined by the company. A good plan for receiving weaned pigs is based on the health, weaning weight, and age of the piglets received, and the available resources. Generally, at least one pen located in a warmer part of the barn is designated as a hospital pen. In addition to a hospital pen, PIC recommends sorting together the smallest 10 to 15% of the pigs received 
in the pens located in the warmest part of the barn, as well as leaving an additional 10 to 15 percent of the pen space empty in the same area for use as early rescue pens. The hospital and rescue pens should have additional heat sources if possible. Space left open at sorting for the hospital and rescue pens results in slightly overstocking the rest of the pens. However, as challenged piglets are identified and moved to the rescue pens during the first few days, most of the pens will end up at or near the target number of pigs. Each group of piglets should get targeted care based on their situation and the available resources. Three key points to remember about early pig care. We need to ensure that the pigs will be received into clean, warm, and dry facilities. We need to focus on correct pig placement and environmental conditions. And always remember that early water and feed intake is essential to the pig's health and well-being. This is a partial list of additional information available from PIC. For more Wean to Finish information, visit our website, www.pic.com. The recommendations presented in this video are general in nature and are not meant to replace established farm protocols. Each farm should have procedures in place that have been approved by their Wean to Finish manager. As always, thanks for watching.